That's it, cause fuck you, kid. What's wrong? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, I'm with it. You ever I'm with the mood, yeah. I'm on with y'all, though. I wanna cry. I'll wait till next time. I don't know, though, then, like, I ain't even gonna laugh. Like, I'm. My, uh, booking. My booking high as hell, y'all. My shows. He get a nigga fucking your wife. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop. Hey, don't stop. Keep it going. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just say, I you the folks that from the Bay to London, from the Bay to London, from the Haven to London. Mm -hmm. What's up? Like I said, this a one in a in a lifetime chance. Like every time something happened to me, I just be like, I'm blessed. Then okay, since y'all keep talking about it, fuck it, <laughs> fuck it, why not? Okay, since y'all keep talking about it, fuck it, why not? I want to do it anyway. <laughs> You know what? You know what? <laughs> well, like Big Wrangler James right there. I ain't gonna talk no ill on dude, child. I ain't gonna talk no ill on dude because you know what I'm saying. We we came up together. You know what I'm saying? I ain't blow cuz of him. He ain't blow cuz of me. We blue cuz of each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't like how y'all be saying people just change up, switch up when they get to get in a certain position. Only only thing that make motherfuckers get like that is when people get to move and different. Like, that's, that's how it is. I was I'm really mad yesterday, y'all. I was so mad because I was on my flight here. And y'all you, know, I never in my life flew first class before. I flew fl first. I flew <laughs> first class last night. Well, yesterday. And I woke up out of my first class, so you know I'm cheap as fuck. So I don't pay for the airline. I don't pay for Wi-Fi on the plane. We on the way out here to London, right? So I don't pay for Wi-Fi on the plane, but I, I pay for the free. I, I don't pay for it. I get the free text on Wi-Fi, right? Why the fuck I wake up from my little nap nap and my free text get to coming through? And everybody <laughs> sending me screenshots. Like I want to be happy. I'm on the way to London. Like don't oh, come man. at me with this bullshit. Like. I'm on that house sleep. I don't know she going on. She ain't know we got the plane. Everybody mad at her. Like, why you doing all this? Like, then you did this shit to yourself and want to blame me for it. Like, you on here trying to make me look like the bad guy. And the crazy thing is, I still fuck with you, fool. It's like, I feel sad for you because you fucked yourself off. Yeah, ain't nobody never said nothing bad about his kid. Nobody ever talked down on him. He did everything to his damn self. I snap it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so bam, I'm right. finna start all the way from the top, y'all. Since everybody been trying to make me out to be the bad guy. And I ain't even gonna say everything, because, you know, like I said, it's legal shit going on now. Niggas need to fuck they self off, so I can't even say everything, you know. So bam, I'm finna start from the top, right? Look at them tuning in, ready to hear mm -hmm. some extra shit. Bam. So bam, last year, this is how I met Hickey. Everybody in Memphis know me, Gloss, Cape Carbon. We been rapping. We been head clout right. Um, bam. We did a show in Memphis last year in April. And um, we all rapped and shit. So, you know, did it all play out, girl. I ain't even finna say it. I'm just finna say some little shit. Because, like I said, people want me to be the bad guy so bad. And the whole time... I'm the victim, but I ain't even. Be, I I didn't care about if y'all knew I was the victim or not because I don't give a fuck. I'm still blessed. I'm still prospering, and I I don't know why I be letting this internet shit get to me. But like I never in my life I never let this shit get to me until I see people trying to like badge me to be a bad business person or like I left behind or I fucked over people who I fucked or I backed up somebody I fucked with. All my friends that's been solid with me, I'm solid with them and they know this. So it's never no shit like that with me. I keep it real with everybody. It's when you fuck up with me, that's when it's over with. And that's one thing about me. So bad. That's why I can't just let shit fly for because I know my girl like. Exactly. I never have no ill will towards nobody. Never have bad intentions. But this, this was his problem. He didn't have good intentions from the first place and that's what got him fucked off because his intentions weren't good to start off with. Bam. He met us. Well, me, Gloss, K. Cobb, and we was at the show together. We, you know, we from Memphis. We all know each other. We all have been here to a little fan base. 
bam, um, he met Dina Lisa and Slime. They was at the Slime Show, because who was it? So, bam, after all this got done, um, he was like, oh, y'all, we gonna do a studio session together, because I guess we all sounded good to him. That's where Set the Tone came from. Bam. So, uh, Set the Tone went viral, right? Mind you, every song we do, we write our own shit. I don't have a ghostwriter. Gloss don't have a ghostwriter. Aziz don't got a ghostwriter. K. Carbon don't got a ghostwriter. Slime don't got a ghostwriter. We all write our own shit. So, a song, it takes two people to make a song, right? It takes the producer and it takes the person who rapped on it. A person can rap on any beat on how hard the beat is, can slow out. Bam. Anyways, us, the girls, we killed the beat. When barrel, bam. I test group chat one day, y'all want to do an EP? Bam. That's how we came up with the EP with Hop Taylor, September 2, all this shit in September. Everything cool. Bam. After that, he tried to sign us as a group. I wasn't going for that. I ain't want to do it. I was the only one saying, no, at first. You know, everybody else wants to do it. I was like, I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know my work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with them, but I, I mm, seen the TLC story, all that shit. Never wanted to do a group. No. Man, I ain't going to lie to her. They ended up talking me into it a little bit. So, bam. When they had posted, a blog had posted all us in the pics together one day. And was like, should they be a group? And so, uh, that ended up changing when the blog posted. One, You know, one of the girls was like, they don't want to do it no more. And I was happy as fuck that they said that. Because they were right. He was trying to get us the sign. We did a photo shoot and everything. We was going to be called Renegade as a group. One of the girls ended up not wanting to do it. So I was happy as fuck. At first, it was just me. And, like, I was seem like the bad guy because I didn't want to do it. So I ended up doing it because, you know what I'm saying, I ain't want them to feel like I ain't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? They was really saying we could do the group. So I agreed to it. But by the time we was almost finna do it, one of the girls said, nah, they don't want to do it. That changed their mind. I was happy as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of the girls, you know, some of them ain't like the shit. You know, they really want to do the group shit. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, all of us hard and we could be a good group. But like I said, bam, this is how they went about. And so, I said, no matter what. Okay, so bam. That's how when he called me to do F and L. Bam. Did F and L for mine, y'all. I wrote every single lyric every to fucking F and L. Never any song y'all heard from me. I nobody ever wrote any song I put out. Every song I ever put out, I sit in my notepad and wrote every single lyric. Not saying nothing about people writing lyrics. One day I might end up using one. Never know. But right as of now, never in my life used to go as a writer. Ever. I wrote every single lyric I did. Only thing on um only thing on on if and if it was somebody in the studio with me and I was like, I need a lot of girls to say let's go. But I ain't had it was some it was a girl in the studio, so she said let's go with me. So it could sound like a chant. Bam, that was it. Bam, F and F went viral. The next day, I got calls. Everybody trying to fly me out. They was just calls. literally, yeah, the next day. The next day out. after the video dropped, literally woke up. He kid calling me. Label in Miami trying to fly us out. Bam, 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 bam. So I'm like, she, I never been to Miami. I never been on no flight. We finna fly somebody, finna fly us out. <laughs> I'm happy as fuck. Remind y'all. Because at this point, yes, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we broke. We, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never did no shit like this. So, he had, um... We went to Miami and shit like that. Had to label me. It was me, he kid, Glossy with me, you know, my folks with me. We ain't signed to that label. So, no, before we went out there, he called me. He was like, Guess you want to be on the remix? He was like, Sweet, want to be on the remix? I was like, She, oh my God, this is the second day, man, child. So I'm like, That's fast as fuck. Like, she want to get on the remix that fast. So I was happy as fuck. Man, you, it was like, so After that happened, in the midst of it, I already getting set up. So many people got to, like, a couple people got to text me about three weeks. Mind you, it's not my son. It wasn't my son. He kid was claiming the song, everybody was going through him. So, bam. Uh, what the fuck happened? Oh, so, he was like, um, she want the girls from Set the Tone to come to L.A. with you. You know what I'm saying? She said she want to fly you and all the girls from Set the Tone out to L.A. for uh, F&F in the video. Bam. Okay. 
rewind up in that video y'all remember everybody was checking me for being ugly they were checking my pregnant friend for being ugly they were checking all us in that video i'm gonna let y'all know now right now it was only two girls from set the tones in the video it was gloss my best friend and slam around everybody else was my friends so but he called and he was like sweet on all the girls said time to come so man we left the label meeting in uh miami went to uh la when la you know what I'm saying? Sweet, you know what I'm saying? They come in the studio, but man, no. Before I go in there, it was a fucking sign that said "Welcome Renegade," and that was the name or the group that we were supposed to be, right? Man, Renegade true. was the name of the group, so I'm like kind of lost. Like they said, "Welcome <laughs> Renegade." Okay, he did say she wanted the girls from the Tony Gun. So, bam, heard song, bam, 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 bam. Everything cool. I like, yeah. So, bam. The next day, we in LA. A label head hit. Either me or Marco. I had a label meeting in LA. Mind y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I did. I went to like five, six different label meetings before I signed. So, like, everybody was trying to sign me at one time. Like, every label you can think of was trying to sign me. So, um. And all these fuckers trying to sign her, they weren't trying to sign her, like. Yes, mind you. Off the song. Yeah. They weren't trying to sign They were trying to sign her off her. Everyone, every one of the meetings that we went to, they like. Play some of your shit. Let me hear the rest of your shit. I yeah, because, no, originally, everybody was trying to sign me to sign if and if the song. Everybody, was, like, they saw if and if blowing up. They knew how big it could get. They were trying to sign me. So, bam, I went to the label meeting. I'm talking to them. You know, they finna give me a, I, they sound like they finna give me a good deal. So, he went on YouTube. He was like, um, this song I already signed under somebody. I said, what? <laughs> he was like, um. The song already signed to Black Noise. I'm texting his kid. I'm like, who is Black Noise? He like, I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> the fuck you mean finna talk to me like? So I get back. He tell me, this nigga signed the song over the second day. It came out. Without, for 50000 He Without tell me. discussing this shit with nobody. He, he didn't tell himself. me nothing. Like, we was going to label meetings together, man. You mean, he, he, he went to, like, two, three label meetings together. And we talking about the shit. He ain't saying not one time that he signed the song already. He was just saying, um, you know, I got something going, too. I got some, something in the works for us. But he, he signed the song the next day. Like, 50K, you didn't even let the motherfucker do what the fuck you supposed to do. Trying did. to keep that shit a secret because you did some stupid-ass shit. Yeah, stop so bam. He signed the song for 50K. That's, I found out. He didn't never tell me. I found out because I went to a label meeting. And they were trying to. It was a label meeting in L.A. A label in L.A. They were trying to sign me. And they looked up all the shit. And they were like, the song I already signed. So, honestly, a lot of it's a deal breaker. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll be like, little, little to the rest of your music. They didn't really believe in me. Like, they wanted if and if. They really ain't care to hear my other music. So, bam. Um, we at the hotel. He come to my room. Trying to explain, sounding slow and shit. Like I said, I ain't even trying to bad you, kid. He just fucked himself off and trying to blame me for the shit. So, bam. What the fuck happened? Okay, so we in the hotel room in L.A. And I'm, I'm mad as hell at this point. Cause I'm like, damn, you went behind my back and found the song. And you and all these label means with me knowing, you know, I already signed the song. And you knowing everybody. It's a, like, every everybody want, like I said, they want to sign the song. Because they like. You know, we can sign her, give, I'm talking about good ass deals, but just off the fact that they like, um, okay, we seen it, say like he kid and go real, so it ain't your song. It ain't 100% your song, so we can't sign you off of it. It was a record deal. <laughs> it, it was a, <laughs> it was a, it was a deal breaker right off the bat when they found out it won my song. Like I said, he wasn't saying that at first. He was going to my label means with me at first. Because I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm slow as fuck at the moment. I'm thinking he know about this shit because he done been in the industry a little bit with Meek Mill. And whole time, because he, he just started acting like he can talk and shit. So, whole time, he came motherfucking, y'all. <laughs> My nigga sounds right, stupid as hell in them damn me. So, okay, so we in the room. He like, yeah, so, you know, I remember I told y'all I had something going. You didn't tell me you signed the fuck song. You got me in these label means blind as fuck. So, like, every time I tell them that ain't my son, they'll try to lowball me. They'll be like, okay, well, honey, K, or we got you this. 
because like they not they like okay well we don't know if your other song's gonna blow so we not gonna put all our money in you type shit so this type shit that was on me so bam um <laughs> so bam i keep saying so bam if y'all talk shit about me come saying so bam i'm up this how i tell my stories i clap and i say bam okay so in the room he like i had this what i told you about he like um, so what you think you, you should be in the group? He was trying to talk me into being in the, in the group again. I'm like, no, I'm blowing up. You know what I'm saying? By myself right now. Like I said, I've been said from the get-go, I didn't want to do the group shit. Like, I fuck with them type shit. And when I first blew, I posted a picture of all us. What the fuck going on? Oh, okay, this shit here <laughs> stop. When we first blew, I po when I first blew, I posted a picture of all us. You know what I'm saying? All my friends, girls, they rap. I post a picture. Bam. They start getting notoriety. So, he would like, do the group. I'm like, no. So, he ended up basically saying, he, this is what he signed the deal for. He signed the deal behind my back. I didn't sign. He posted ahead my fucking, I post agreed to it or, what's the shit called? What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Really, he I was supposed to sign up on the shit. I don't know. He supposed to have your say-so, though. Yeah, he supposed to have my say-so in the shit. Whole time, he signed the deal with the song. Didn't tell me nothing about it. And the deal was, this is why he mad because I won't do no more songs with him. The deal was, he had to do a whole EP with me and the girls. So that's why he was trying to talk me into being in the group again. And I'm like, why are you trying to make me be in the group again? No, I'm blowing up solo. All of us can blow up solo. Like, I been said I didn't want to do the group. So he was like, basically, the deal he signed with Black Noise for uh, 50K was... Um, the girls do an EP. All let's do an EP and get on an EP together and produce it. Type shit. I didn't do that. Like I said, they fucked up this whole deal, really. Because originally I was on the Shabuya song. I didn't get on it because of all this fuck shit that's going on with him. He mad about that too, because I didn't get on. I like I was on the original on the Shabuya song. I didn't go through with it because, like I said, it's a lot of legal bullshit going on right now, and I can't really just talk too much and say too much because like i said he on some other shit and the shit on some legal shit so bam oh this is another thing so when we was in the studio sweetie said yes you know she was so sweet she was such a good hearted person like i fucking love sweetie forever love her she said yeah so um i want each child to come out i saw your video and i want to fly you and your friends that was in the video out Cause you know she saw how everybody was talking about us and you know what I'm saying talking bad about us, checking the fuck out of us, like checking the shit out of us type shit. Mm -hmm. So she was she got out of her did all that type shit. Oh bam, she got out of her did no. She was saying out you and your friends in the video. So bam, this nigga the whole time he telling me she called to get the girls from Set the Tone to come to the video. Whole time she called, she said she wanted my friends from the video. Cause she, when she was there, she kept coming like. These y'all friends on the video and know they won. But he said it looked like that. He had them thinking they were finna get a feature from Sweetie the whole time. They were just out there to be in the video. But she so actually... Now, what she, kind of shit is it? She motherfucking wanted my friends on the video. Because like I said, she was being super genuine and nice. And she wanted my friends on the video. But he made it like he wanted the girls to set the tone. Because he, the deal he signed, he signed... He Nobody knew about it. None of the girls knew about the deal he signed. He just had them in the studio thinking they finna make a song with Sweetie. Thinking Sweetie wanna make a song with them. Sweetie didn't make not one song with them because that ain't what the fuck she said she wanted to do. She didn't fucking know them. Who yes, exactly. She, she just wanted the girls them. from the video to come and that made me mad because she slamming golf in the video food, but he, me and my friends got talked about for that motherfucking song. We the ones got checked. My pregnant friend, all the teased, all us got talked about. And you just gonna leave them out. Like I wanted to fly them out to LA. He gonna leave them out just so he could bring the girls from Set the Tone because he wanted to set aside a deal yeah, that he his, made behind everybody his, back. His motherfucking secret agenda, like, he had a whole... He got hidden agenda. agendas and I ain't telling nobody about the shit. And this is how he fucking himself off. So, bam. He uh, had them thinking they come finna come out there and do a song with Sweetie. All this type shit. The whole time, Sweetie wanted me and my friends from the video, but he made like he wanted them. They in the studio thinking they finna make a song with Sweetie. I ain't make not one song with her. So he in the studio trying to get us. We recorded some songs, but I'm just thinking we recording. Like I said, I fuck with them. I like making music with them. We make some hard ass music together. So I'm thinking, you know, we just making music the whole time. He trying to record a whole EP so he can 
go with his deal. Mm -hmm. Satisfy his deal. Because like I said, he got to get that deal satisfied by getting the EP done with all this on her. And so, bam. Oh, another thing. It was a motherfucking... We went to the store because Tweety said she buy all. She was like, I'm buying all y'all weeks, anything y'all want. I was still broke at the time. So, the Balenciaga outfit I first had on when I posted and it popped out. Tweety bought all this shit for all of us. She bought our wigs. Our wigs were like $3,000, $4,000. did No, okay, so this is what happened before she bought them. We went to the wig store. Him and his wife. And they like, y'all can only get three wigs. These two had. Y'all can't get all these. So, they picked who gonna, who the fuck gonna have the three wigs. <laughs> they said, Glow get a wig and two other girls. Gloss <laughs> and Aliza. And they were like, Teaser don't need a wig because she ain't really want her here. Well, this for the set of tone girls. Yeah. Um, Slime got her own real hair, so she don't need a wig. I'm um, some shit like this, so bam. Um, we getting ready and shit. They had got mad, I ain't gonna lie. He, she was in there talking shit, like on some attitude shit. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jerry? <laughs> Jerry, I ain't talking about no uh, legal shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, other shit. So. <laughs> this shit threw your ass out. You better come knock on these doors. It's <laughs> making <laughs> me get out loud. <laughs> okay. Who part I was on? Okay, so, oh, we getting ready to get ready to do the video shoot. But not, it was, yeah, we getting ready to do the video shoot. And then, Sweetie Kyle, she was like, y'all got everything? I was like, nah, they said we couldn't get three wigs because it was too much. She said, girl, y'all go get y'all, y'all go get whatever wig y'all want. Y'all go get anything out the mile y'all want, no matter how much it costs. It's a, it was a budget on the video. So she was like, who said y'all couldn't get that amount? Of, um, uh, amount? Like, it ain't too high. Go, go back to the store and get any wig y'all want. Type shit. So... I'm like, hold on, what's going on? Because y'all told us he was going over the budget, but Sweetie's saying we can get whatever the fuck we want. So what did, what is y'all trying to do? I ain't going to specifically say. I don't know what was going through his head. I don't know if he was trying to steal money or what. I ain't going to say this. But I'm like, so y'all going to sit here and lie like. She ain't going to say this. She it, was a, say it. it was a street budget. When she told us we can get whatever the fuck we want out the store, like what? She ain't going to say this shit, y'all. I'm going to say it. That's what the fuck he was on. <laughs> I'm trying to pocket them motherfuckers. I'm telling y'all everything, y'all. Since he want to air me out like I'm a bad guy. And I still fuck with him. He just, he knew he fucked up doing I don't even know why the fuck he did this. Like, I. <laughs> so, man, what's next after this, fool? This the uh, LA shit. So, okay, so I'm going I'm to a, I'm a scratch that. The next part I want to say, I'm going to scratch it because I don't know if I can talk about it or not. Don't, don't talk about it then. Bam. The remix. I feel sad for he keep because he keep lying the fuck himself up. He said, I ain't really coming, y'all. I'm telling the story. The main keep lying, like, I ain't even gonna talk about that need to count know if this legal. About three weeks. Don't talk about that. I ain't gonna talk about that because, you know, I don't know if I can speak on it. It's some fuck shit right there, too, though. I don't know if I can speak on it. But it's some fuck shit right there. Then what the fuck else happened? Oh, so, bam, I met with Gotti. So, remember I told y'all, I went to, like, a couple, a handful of labor meetings. Everybody was, like, it was a deal breaker. It was a <laughs> it was a deal breaker when they found out that I didn't 100% own the song, right? And I was telling people that. So, how the fuck can I, how the fuck can I sign a song to my contract and you already signed it? Like, make it make sense. Like, Please, how the fuck can I add a song to my contract that you already signed over without my permission? Please make it make sense. She don't make nothing. So, anyways, um, the last label meeting I went to was we got it. Like, I'm, mind y'all, every label that you could think of, well, I'm going to say most labels are trying to sign me. So, bam, got to sign me on the yacht. No, nah, well, got to call me like come to Miami. I ain't gonna lie, God was trying to get up with me for weeks. And I was like, going to everybody else like but me. So I was like, okay, fuck God, was like, come come to Miami, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up going and shit. Cause like I said, he had been trying to get me for weeks, but I was just going to see what everybody else was talking about. No, God had already knew about C Station because we talked to him on the phone. I was like, um, this when we found out that it was a lot of legal bullshit going on with the song. This the part that I can't talk about either because it's some legal shit 
it was going on with the song, so we was on the phone, gotta go, like, she, well, what's your next step forward? I mean, what else you got? I'm like, shit, I got a whole, you know what I'm saying? I, I got good music. I ain't the one who wanted. He was like, all right, I want you to come out here so I can hear that shit. Bam. Got it, flew us out to Miami. Met him on the yacht. I'm talking about as soon as I got there, he was like, shit, let me hear what you got. Because you like, apparently, if and if. I ain't signing you all if and if because, you know, he knew that was my song. So he like, let me hear what you got. Played all my unreleased shit. I'm like, no, I got to let him hear this shit, you know what I'm saying? I want to drop this shit, so I'm playing all this shit. Got her like, yeah. He knew I was hard. Like, he just listened to all my shit, so. So, um, yeah, he knew, like, he was past, um, he was past it. Like, he really, he was the only label. The other label was trying to lowball me, like I said, because F and F, they didn't believe in my other music. They were like, it was hard, but they were still trying to lowball me. They were trying to give me little ass deals. And so God, it was like, we going to see what's up with your other music. You know what I'm saying? He was like, show me what you got. Let her, I let him hear all my other music. One of the first songs I played with tomorrow. So, bam. This one, me and God, it got them. I don't know what it is. This one, oh, she, we chopped shit up on the yacht. Miami, popping bottles. Gotti is a 100 lad nigga, and the way y'all trying to come out to make motherfuckers seem like they fucking me out, she ain't nobody fucking me out of nothing. He kid fucked himself out of this shit. So, what else I can talk about that ain't uh, illegal? That ain't illegal. I'm gonna say. He kid is mad, y'all, because this girl going up with that Oh, so let me tell y'all what he kid mad about. I can't, I'm not even going to get into the legal part about it because, like I said, he didn't fuck himself up. He mad because he didn't fuck himself up. Like, it's simple. You did this shit to yourself. You only own 50% of the song, so how can I take the whole song from you? You signed your 50% over the... Let me shut up. <laughs> I'm sure I would say shut the fuck up. Let me shut up. <laughs> I want to say this shit so bad because that it make it plain as day and so fucking simple. And people don't hear so simple-minded and just, but I don't even give a fuck no more. Yeah. I just got to say my piece because I ain't feeling nobody make me seem like no fuck nigga when all I did was show a nigga love. I don't th all I did in label means I'm with me and he kid a good duo. He, man, you hear my label means with me. I'm like, me and he kid a good duo, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, I'm telling him if I sign y'all, you know what I'm saying, I want him to come with me. I'm saying that the whole time. And then another thing he kept saying, it was, I can't remember ex exactly what it was about, but he ended up saying, if they want you, they going to have to pay me. I forgot what exactly what amount he said. He just said between 100K or 500K. They're going to have to pay me for this song. He got the same shit like that after he kept saying labels called me. So I'm like, he on some other shit. And so he's saying I use CMG lawyers. My lawyer is not a CMG lawyer. He was trying to get me to use his lawyer, though. He was like, use my lawyer, use my lawyer. No, I'm not using your lawyer, you mad? Because I'm not using your lawyer. I, I used another lawyer, and he not CMG lawyer. So, man, what the fuck does he do? Matter of fact, okay, one day he called me. I was, we got this around in the process of me signing with God. He's like, where you? I'm like, oh, we got it. He's like, tell God to sign me. <laughs> he don't want to get left He said, tell God, God to sign me. He Like, this is the problem. He want everything I do. Yeah. He want to make it like he created me, and that's not what it is. He keep, like I said, you could have gave that beat to anybody. Nobody was going to make Evan Elf but me. I was the only person that was going to make Evan Elf. So stop acting like you discovered me. I gave, he keep credit on multiple occasions. He a, he's a great producer. He just do fuck shit. Like, and I was getting mad. Like, I swear to God, I cried about this shit before. Come, like, you you talked about how people fucked you out of deals and you trying to do me the same way. Slime in the dude. Like, we, put, we was cool before all this shit. And now you, like, this money and shit making you turn on me. Like, you not trying to give me no percentage of the song. They lying on here like they trying to do 50-50 and they not. So, it was crazy. Like, that's, I never brought this shit to the internet, though. Like, the man been on fuck shit since the first week it blew with Sweetie. The first day he signed it and didn't tell me he signed it. And now he all the label means with me knowing he signed it. So, what the fuck, fuck else this man be doing? Okay, so bam, lately, he been throwing subs. Like, y'all probably never caught it, but he never got no clout off the subs he been throwing. So, that's why he has gone ahead and put a name on and talk about me so y'all can 
get him some clout or whatever. But now since y'all gave him the clout, I'm gonna give him some clout too. Fuck it, everybody else already doing it. He kid did not write for a nigga free. That's his beat on this song. No, he kid ain't writing out one piece of fuck nigga free. Nothing. The only thing, time. only thing I'll say he contributed to was at the end. In my verse, I said we hopping out of red light, turning on the headlight. At the end of the song, he say, say hopping out of red light, turning on the headlights again. But I wrote that bar. He just said, say it again at the end. That's the only thing he contributed to that song. I, Glorilla, wrote that whole song. And now when you look it up, producers always get writer's credit because they producers. What the fuck else? With, what the fuck else? Have? Okay, so yeah, since I, okay, so bam, I got nominated for two BT awards, right? I won Artist of the Year, but my song F and F ain't win. If F and F would have won, me and him would have won the award. Bam, that didn't happen. I won. Jealousy. Mm -hmm. And I swear to God, y'all, nigga, the other day for Cardi's birthday, when I gave her that patty, because she was 100 about everything. She did everything the right way. She fucked with me genuinely, and ain't, you know what I'm saying, wasn't looking on no extra shit. And even she said, I be telling her thank you. She be like, no, thank you. We helped each other out shit, type shit. Give the Cardi the patty. He been in his feelings like, why you want, you mad because I'm giving Cardi a patty? Because we, because it's her birthday? And because she a genuine person, I fuck with her, you think I owe you that. And I swear to God, that's what been making him go so ham. He come in, he sure he retweeted something on Twitter that said I did and put the little fake like this. You probably could have got you some shit like that if you want us to He did that fake, then come in on my, pit, on the video I post on Instagram, me getting her the paddock and put the same face like he think I owe him one. You probably could have got some shit if you, if you was 100 from the dude. beginning. You too, if you was 100 from the beginning, I would have been fucked with you. I fuck with everybody that do, everybody that started with me, I fuck with them. But no, you was on fuck shit <laughs> since day he one. Sparking nothing. He was on fuck shit <laughs> since day one with that song. And he know that. I ain't throw no ass in the video but one of this motherfucking <laughs> shit. I swear to God, I said, like, you want too much credit. Hickey, you didn't get talked about. The girls from Seth Tony get talked about. Slam Roni and Gloss, yeah, because they was the only two in the video. My friends got talked about. You shitted them out of a trip to LA, you know what I'm saying? When we was the one getting called ugly bitches. Mm -hmm. They deserve to come out there and, you know what I'm saying, on some shit like that. Another thing with him. All the girls getting signed, right? All the girls, one by one. Well, about to get signed. All this type of shit. He mad because he wanted to sign us and he wanted people to sign us through him. He wanted to be like, I, I feel bad for him, fool, because he wants so much credit. Like, like I said, like we helped each other with these beats and shit. Of course, okay, you was paying for studio time, but you wanted us on your on your beats. Like, we didn't ask you to get on your beats. You wanted us on your beats. So how did you saying you helped us? Like, I, I was going along with it first. Okay, you, you helped us. We helped you too, though. Like, you picked us to get on your yeah, beats. Yeah, you can do none of the shit you had in mind. We already them. had clout, so stop no acting cloud. like we didn't I help each other. Stop acting like you discovered me because people been knowing me. I been rapping. I just went nationwide. When I made F and F, I wrote the song. You didn't write it. So why you want so much credit like you discovered me? Like you know, like I said, I, every time some good happened, I was like, we did it. Congratulations to us. Even when he was doing fuck shit, I'm still like, we did it, man. We did it. Whole time. Whole time while I'm coming to it, every, he worked with me and backed on the shit out of me. Whole time I'm with him. So, Yeah. Another, that's another thing he made about because all the girls getting, you know, we getting signed just because, you know, we popping. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The song blew. They went and looked at all the girls. All the girls can rap. They getting signed independently. Like, he wanted us to sign as a group so he can have a discovery free fee. It was something yeah, he said, like. But it's like, he stated, he stated he want all this shit for all five of them. But in reality, he don't want them, one of them to win because she, once they blow, he feel like he posted. Get half of that. Yeah, ass. Like, like he won't credit off us so bad. Like, of course, I work. Shit. If that's the case, Macaroni needs to be crying for credit. That's what I'm saying. Mac ain't like that, though, fool. Mac he ain't crying. Real nigga. Macaroni is a real nigga, I swear to God. Cheese. His name is <laughs> Cheese. Both for Macaroni, like, niggas ain't crying. Like, bro, you a, you a producer. I give you, I gave him his credit on everything. Like I said, I fuck with you. You a great producer. But the way he just went about this shit was wrong as hell. And I would have never talked about this shit. Like I said, it's still shit that I still can't talk about. I ain't got to talk about it, though. I ain't got to talk but about it. But yeah, basically, then, shit. yeah, he was being shady after I gave Cardi the Patty. Like, I gave Cardi the the other day. He been making shady tweets ever since then. Literally. Then, like, bro, you think you deserve a Patty from me and you been doing all this fuck shit to me? 
You can't back that. At the end of the day, niggas be sassy as hell. Niggas be bitches, and y'all just get on here and believe anything. Like, then his manager even worse. His manager came on here exposing his ammo. Talking about some dead deal. Dead. Life is great. I can't wait till y'all hear I'm my new EP. Like, life is great. Do you hear me? Life is stupid that great. We in London right now. That's what y'all need to understand. Right my girl is good without the and, and listen, God don't bless no mess, but I'm super blessed. And he in a predicament he in, crying and shit, because he had bad intentions. And God don't bless no mess. I'm a child of mother... Let me not say this. I'm a child of God. And look, let me not get on here cursing and being a Christian. You can't but, talk about God and you can't curse in the same sentence. God, God don't, don't play by me. Shit. God don't play by me at the end of the day. And like I said, God don't bless no mess. And I don't do people wrong because I don't want wrong coming to me. So, yeah, his manager making it even worse. I believe it ain't even him. I feel like it's his manager in his ear. I don't even think it's his kid. And I feel sad that he in a situation that he in. I don't feel sad. And I, I realized, like for the guy, I was planning on making plenty of more songs. He, like I said, he a great producer. He a hard ass. He make he, he make beats for my voice. Like we a perfect duo together. Like we make hits. That's why we have be going back to her uh, interviews and shit. She really, you know, she, I'm, I never she take uplifting his man for. She ain't never talking bad on he kid. None of this shit. Like this shit is this is the first. This is, this I is never talk bad on him. Well, I call him sassy and shit because. He been doing all this bullshit to me. That's now though. He he exposing himself now. That's why. Like he coming out with this shit now. I know they screen corn the hell out of this. <laughs> I can't like I said, the the legal part, the numbers part, I can't speak on numbers right now. But just know. He fucked himself off. He did the shit to himself. That's like she trying hard to get in camp. <laughs> Y'all, I would get in this motherfucker if I want to. That's what I <laughs> Damn, I don't want to. The fuck? I don't want to be in the damn camera. It's her friend phone. How about that? Yeah, his manager though went on there really exposing she like he on there saying Well he on there saying he like no he signed the deal for the girl to do the EP. I never agreed to that. Why are you going to sign a song that I a hundred percent wrote saying you signed it for me to do an EP for a group and I never told you I wanted to be in the group. And so now you gotta provide them an EP with me and all the girls on it. But I'm not doing it because you play. You go, you come to back door me. Like I said, that's the reason I didn't get on the Shabuya song. And I ain't gonna lie, I really, I was sad, that, sad as hell I ain't get on it. I still support the song because the girls killed it. I was sad as hell I ain't get on the Shabuya song. But because of legal reasons, I just couldn't do it. Like, you not finna play me. But yeah, that's the story.